I'm Tim, welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter coaxial, 41.5 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel. This classic Bond Seamaster is, like all the watches on our YouTube channel, actual inventory in stock and available for immediate delivery on our retail website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest luxury watch news, views, and reviews in daily video format, please subscribe to our channel, Watch You Want Inc. 1995 was day one for the new era of Omega because while there have been many celebrity ambassadors and commercial tie-ins, you and I both know the truth. It was the James Bond franchise that revived Omega after the doldrums of the quartz crisis in the 70s and 80s. And that first Bond Seamaster Professional 300 on the wrist of Pierce Brosnan and Goldeneye launched the franchise. Not so much Bond, but the modern identity of Omega as a truly upscale and desirable product also a very substantial product. Now, that watch was quartz, but shortly thereafter, the chronometer, the true mechanical, followed, and by 2006, we got the watch you see here, the coaxial Bond Seamaster 300 Professional Diver. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, it still wears like a compact, perfect blend between a formal watch and a sports watch. Make no mistake, very rugged, 300 meter water resistance, so down to 1,000 feet, Helium relief valve integrated at 10 o'clock. Sports watch tough with one of the best bracelets in the business. It's very comfortable nonetheless and feels like a silky dress watch. Very thin thanks to the Omega Caliber 2500 based on the ETA 2892A2. This one will undercut the profile of just about any unidirectional rotating bezel Rolex or Breitling. Now to its advantage, it's relatively short from lug to lug and you can see that to good advantage on my wrist. Now there's absolutely no overlap. I wore one of these watches for well over a decade on a daily basis and never once did I feel like it was top heavy, obtrusive, or about to capsize due to uneven weighting of the clasp, the bracelet, and the watch head. The overhead shot tells the truth. There's plenty of clearance, so this is a good sports watch with a modern look, but for a smaller wrist. Not oversized by any means though. This is a watch in the traditional mold of the 40 to 42 millimeter full-sized diver's watch. Now you can see that the case profile is fairly typical. It has the beveled lug look that's been characteristic of Omega sports watches, the so-called professional watches, since roughly the mid-1960s in the Speedmaster and the Seamaster professional line. And this bracelet, which debuted back in the Brosnan era, remains one of the finest to see and feel on the wrist. Five links alternately brushed and polished. The dominant look is brushing, but with the highlights of those intermediate links polished for just a little bit of jewel-like shine. Nicely integrated with integrated end pieces, it also features a clasp that I will praise until the day I die. Milled out from the solid, it's a very robust piece and all of the swing arms and the linking components are of equal quality. Now the diver's extension, cleverly integrated, was one of the best then and it remains one of the best now. Good design, good mechanical engineering is just plain good and it stays that way. More than a novelty, even if you never extend it over a dive suit, it works well over winter coats or thick sweaters. So if you do live in those double landlocked states or any place worldwide where you're unlikely ever to see the sea, but you're always going to see snow, being able to wear your watch over cold weather gear is an outstanding perk. And believe me, it's one that I used regularly while wearing one of these watches in New Hampshire for four years. Still closes with a crisp snap. This watch is a beautiful classic design. The Omega Seamaster used to be redesigned, and I mean completely rebooted aesthetically every handful of years. It was rare to see the watch go even a dozen years without a total redesign, but the success of this matte blue wave pattern bezel, the blue, uh, bat, rather matte blue wave pattern dial, blue bezel, the faceting, the beveled case, the skeleton hands, the circular plot indices, it survived now for 20 years. It's been a full two decades, and that is the definition of staying power. Not just the watch that relaunched Omega as a desirable modern luxury timepiece, it's also a modern classic, and I feel that 20 years from now, Omega, for historical reasons and nostalgic reasons, is probably still going to have a watch with this profile in its catalog. It's become that important. It's become, in a lot of ways, like the new Submariner. It's just a design that will be forever and it will always be desirable. But it has evolved, and the key points here, and I want to point them out, are the addition of the applied and polished indices. 
and a higher standard of signage, including the applied and polished Omega marquee and logo at 12 o'clock. Now back on mine, circa 2001, those were printed on elements, basically just elements of paint stuck to the dial, stuck with precision and love, but nevertheless stuck. They were the equivalent of adhesive pieces. Now, each individual element set by hand has the same jewel-like shine as the famed skeleton hands at center, and that little red Seamaster script along with the coaxial signage tells you that there's something else beating within, and that's the Omega Caliber 2500, one of the true innovations of the modern era and one of the few true innovations to hit the mass market. It represented a brave effort by Omega to take independent horology mainstream designed by the great George Daniels, the coaxial caliber is one of the few true alternative escapement designs available, frankly, on watches below six figures. Not only exclusive to Omega, it was very ambitious and remains exclusive to this day. So dive watches tend to be a generic lot. This watch is unique in many respects, part of a classic continuity considered to be something of a modern living legend and embodying one of the great innovations, horological innovations of modern times this watch is significant inside and out in terms of engineering and design, and that's a rare tandem for any watch to boast. And yet, considering this is a relatively accessible, everyday wearable sports watch, it's really one of the best combinations of value available at any price. If you want to buy a classic and you want to buy one of the best examples, the Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter with the coaxial caliber inside represents a rare coup for watch collectors looking for value. Now everything about this watch is exceptional. The clasp, the bracelet, the history, the look, the bond tie-in, whether you're into Pierce Brosnan, whether you're into Daniel Craig, or whether you're not really into bond at all, might just be the icing on the cake if you're a fan. If you're not, this watch has everything to, rep to recommend it in terms of substance. As a longtime satisfied owner, I'm a JLC guy to the core, but I will endorse the Omega Seamaster Professional 300, and I can only wish that mine were as handsome and advanced as this coaxial example. And you can see this Omega Seamaster Professional Diver 300 meter coaxial in high resolution images on our website, watchyouwant.com.